Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this particular video series, I talk about lots of topics which are very useful or most common questions asked by artists. These are some of the general topics that me as an artist, I feel it's my duty to share with young artists because that is something I have learned during my art journey, during my art career and it is definitely going to benefit all the young and budding artists out there. So a couple of days ago in my Instagram broadcast channel, I asked a question which was what are your hurdles sorry what are your biggest hurdles in selling your art so every artist starts as a hobbyist you start making art and craft because you like it but at one point you definitely want to sell it or make a career out of it no matter how big or small, but there is a lot of happiness associated when you make a sale. When somebody comes and shows interest in purchasing your art, you definitely feel encouraged. You definitely feel motivated. So I do come across lots of questions from various artists. How do I get clients, this and that, and lots of questions regarding selling. I have a complete around uh, 35 hours long course, online course, where I teach how to sell and what are different ways of getting client and what are different ways of earning as an artist and everything I teach in detail. But not everybody can afford those, right? So I thought I should be giving some guidance to my dear followers as well. And that's why we are going to answer the questions that you guys have posted in this broadcast channel. So my question was, what are your biggest hurdles in selling your art? And one by one, we are going to go through all these responses that I have got. First response was, some random guy calling hi babes of course just because I am a girl and just because I have a public account it gives you the right to call me babes mm -hmm. that's how we talk to a random girl not hi dear or not hi Ankita or hi Ankita Ruja or XYZ hi babes good job your education has paid really well Moving on. So the second response we received was marketing, getting clients, how to approach. Now this is a very broad category. This question itself is divided into three individual parts. Marketing, getting clients, how to approach. Now there is no one method of marketing, you know. There are tons of method and they all are suitable for different types. For example, a marketing method which works for a print artist may not work for an artist who sells their original. A marketing strategy for an artist who sells their painting may not work for someone who is selling crochet dolls or maybe some DIY crafts. A marketing strategy of a person who is selling online will be different from a person who is selling offline. Right? So when you say marketing, it itself is a very broad category. So when you come to me and you ask about marketing, I cannot tell you how to market. Yes. There are lots of different questions that you have to ask yourself and that will tell you how you should market because there are 
unlimited ways of marketing yourself online as well as offline so your marketing has to depend on your pricing what are you making what is your target audience how do you want to sell it and lots of different questions that you need to be asking yourself then you need to be pointing down all different marketing strategies see what works for you and then imply those so there are unlimited marketing strategies and they all work for different types of people a strategy that works for me may not work for you so do not go around asking people about their marketing strategies you have to ask yourself my clients are primarily mural clients so my marketing strategy will definitely be different from a person who is trying to sell their original paintings right so it's not that simple getting clients again it is related to the first part how you market yourself will make sure whether you get clients or not so there are different social media platforms there are different online platforms and there are lots of video based platforms or offline as well there are lots of strategies which you use to get clients it can start from your family from your friends and then it has to go on getting clients is not only about getting new clients it's also about retaining old ones or making sure your existing clients come back and make a purchase again so again getting clients is specific getting clients is very unique to you nobody else can answer it to you nobody else can tell you hey this is the strategy follow this and you will get clients no it has to be a series of questions you ask yourself for example let me give you a very small example an artist who is primarily selling on instagram and then another artist who is primarily selling on etsy and then there is a third artist who is selling on fine art america all three will have different strategies of getting clients do you know why because fine arts america is not affordable in india that is a website that deals in dollars and when you convert that currency in indian currency it becomes very high so no matter how strong your marketing strategy is you will never get clients because you are doing it wrong your basics are wrong so how are you selling it what are you selling it where are you selling it and there are lots of different questions that you have to ask yourself and then you will come up with the answers of how do you get your clients how to approach now again see i'm sure my answer would sound diplomatic to you but it all is the same thing at this point when you have asked me this question marketing getting clients how to approach there is not a syllabus it's not an ncert book that i will say hey this is the chapter and all the questions are coming from here no these all questions are unique to all the artists where are you getting clients where are you marketing it all depends on what are you making it how are you making it whom are you targeting whom are you trying to sell and it's a very long process of analyzing there are lots of questions that you have to ask yourself and then come to a conclusion hey this is what works best for me hey this is not going to work for me there are lots of artists that are very successful on twitter there are lots of artists that are very successful on tiktok but that does not mean it's going to work for you as well right now let's move on to the next question not sure how to go about it and whom to target again the same question 
It's the same question, but the language has been changed. So the artist wants to know, not sure how to go about it and whom to target. You are asking yourself, a, you are asking me a question that you should be asking yourself. Whom to target? What are you making? And who are the people who will be using it? If you are making a lollipop, you cannot be going around and selling it to old people. You have to target kids. So ask yourself, what are you making and who are your target audience? And then you will find your answer. Search for client and how to price the artwork. This is the next question. Search for client and how to price the artwork. So I'm going to skip the first part because that we have already discussed in previous two questions. Let's move on to the second part. How to price the artwork. The golden rule of pricing is that you should never be in loss. Now there are lots of different equations there are lots of different methods which are used for pricing your artworks but most commonly you can make it like you can fix an hourly charge for yourself like okay hey this is my hourly charge so this artwork is going to take me these many hours so this is my charge multiplied by these many hours so this is my price make sure to include cost price and all those expenses that you have bought. There are also lots of different factors which needs to be considered but they are situation specific. For example, I am a mural artist when I am pricing something of course my supplies or my entire scenario is different compared to an artist who is sitting at home and making at their comfort and shipping out stuff. So. This is something varies from artist to artist. I have lots of artists, they come to me, hey, I've received a mural commission, this is this by this size, can you tell me how to price? No, I cannot. Because there are lots of individual factors. I don't know how much effort it's going to take you to complete that mural. Me having painted more than 100 murals, I will probably take lesser time to complete the same thing. I have an experience of more than 100 murals, I will probably charge higher as compared to you. It also depends on the supplies you are using, would you be traveling or not and there are lots of different situations which are to be considered and they are all unique to you. Go to Instagram, ask two amazing mandala artists, they give them the same artwork and ask them to draw the same, okay? You give them an artwork, hey, this is what I want and I want it in A3 size, how much would you price? They both will tell you different prices because that is individual to the artist. They are considering their individual factors. How many hours is it going to take them? What are the supplies they are going to use? How much effort will they have to put for shipping? What is their location? And lots of different stuff. So you cannot question, hey, that artist is charging only this much. Why are you? No, it's not like that. Pricing in artwork is a very individual thing and it varies from artist to artist. Every artist has their own way of pricing it. I hope you understand. Moving on to the next question, how to approach clients and interest them in buying art? So again, I have answered the first part a lot. Interest them in buying art? Well, whether they will buy or not depends on many factors like is it affordable to them? Do they have an emotional connect with them? Is it anyhow useful to them? Or do they find the price reasonable? Even if it is affordable, are they finding it reasonable? So there are lots of different factors which will make a client interested in buying or not. 
The next response is yes. Okay, moving on. Another guy just saying hi. So, hi. Setting price for the artwork and they don't accept the price easily. So, I have discussed the first part, setting price. Second part, they don't accept the price easily. And that's not your problem. You know you have worked hard. You know the price is reasonable. You know that you can justify it. Stand by it. Just because I cannot afford a Louis Vuitton bag doesn't mean Louis Vuitton will lower their prices. Okay? So until and unless it is reasonable to you, it is logical to you and you think it's fair, stand by your prices. If they walk away, if they can't afford, that's not your problem. You are not here to make it affordable to them. You are here to ask a reasonable price, a reasonable rate for yourself and you have to stand by it. So, see, there are some exceptions. For example, if there is a client which is a repeat buyer, they come and make purchase from you again and again. In that case, of course, you can consider giving them a discount. If it's a person who is a relative, who is a friend, okay, you can consider giving them a discount. If it is a bulk order, you can consider giving them a discount. But these are all exceptional cases. Mm -hmm. You do not do it in a normal scenario. If you think you have priced your artwork right, make sure you state it confidently. Make sure you defend it. You have to show that, hey, these many hours I'll, I have worked for it and this is what is reasonable. I'm not asking anything which is just crazy. Just stand by your price. How to price the artwork, marketing and how to approach the clients. This is the next question and I believe I have covered all these three aspects. How to price the artwork, marketing and how to approach the clients. Finding the right client. So, you have to understand that every person is a potential client of yours. Yes, it is. You just have to understand how to sell it to them. Every person is in need of it. You just don't know how to sell them. My online courses were a hit when it was lockdown. So during lockdown, we were going through sort of some recession also. Many people were losing their jobs or getting their salary cuts, but people were making purchase, people were buying my course. It was art. It was something they could have not bought. It was not groceries or medicines which was very useful. But I knew how to sell it. I knew that during lockdown people are going to be bored. People would need some activities to do with their kids. This is the only time they have time to learn something new or follow their hobby or passion. Or this is something that can improve their mental health. So these are different factors or these are different statements that I used to sell my courses. And it was a hit. So even though it was art courses, which was not a necessary, it was not important, but yet people bought it because I knew how to market it and how to make it look important to them, how to make it relatable to them. So, you just have to understand how to sell it to that client and you will be able to do it. Next question is, how to search the correct audience for selling the art? Again, it's almost the same question, but one thing that I'm going to discuss very quickly here, how to search for correct audience. I see lots of artists trying to sell art in Facebook art groups. 
Facebook art groups is already filled with artists. They know how to make art. They are not buyers. They are sellers. So you are finding or you are trying to find, you are looking for an audience at the wrong place. You just don't know where to find your audience. So based on what you are making and who are you making for, your target audience is out there but you are just not looking for it at the right place. You are an artist and you are, you are promoting your art in an art group. You are a crafter and you are promoting your craft in a craft group. People will not buy it. They can easily make it. Okay. Imagine, I am part of lots of art groups. Imagine an artist trying to sell a painting. I like the painting a lot. But I will not buy because I can make it. I will get the canvas, I will get the colors and I will make it on my own. I am not going to buy it. I am not the ideal audience for that artist. So you have to ask where is your ideal audience. You are finding them in the wrong place. I am sorry, you are trying to find them in the wrong place. Next question. People don't resonate with mandala art much. And you could not be more wrong. There are lots of successful mandala artists. There are lots of different mandala products. And mandala is one of the art which is in absolutely great demand. Not just because it's pretty, not just because it's beautiful, but because it has lots of therapeutic values. It is relaxing, it is meditative, it is calming, it has lots of behavioral benefits it has lots of scientifically proven benefits so if you think people do not resonate to mandala maybe you are not resonating to your mandala itself or maybe you are reaching out to the wrong people because people do resonate to mandala actually it is one of the most popular art forms and in absolutely great demand so maybe you should think who are you trying to reach, how are you trying to reach, what are you trying to sell. There are already millions of mandala artists trying to sell their artworks on small papers and stuff. If you are doing the same, of course you will get lost in the crowd. There are already so many artists. Why will somebody buy from you? Ask yourself this question. Why will somebody buy from you? What is the unique thing that you are providing them? Already hundreds of artists are doing it. If you are trying to sell a mandala at 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees, somebody can easily enroll in a mandala course for 199 or 299 and make it on their own. So, you know an art which is in demand, but you just don't know how to sell it or how to present it. So, do not blame the art. Mandala is a very beautiful art form and it's been in demand for ages. It's not a modern art form. It's been here since centuries and it's not going to die out any soon. Next question is, how to search correct audience for your work? I believe I have already discussed this question. There are lots of questions. Ask yourself, what are you making? How are you making? Who are you making it for? Who is your target audience? You have to do a product analysis. You have to do a target audience analysis and then move forward from there. Another response is just yes. So I'm just guessing you are having some problems selling art. Next question is pricing issues. We have discussed it. Pricing is something very unique. It has to be reasonable. There are lots of different factors which you consider while pricing your art. But once you do and you think it's reasonable, stand by it. Have confidence. Okay. There are lots of buyers out there. So just because a few clients can't afford it doesn't mean you have to make it cheaper. I would prefer sleeping at my home and have some rest 
rather than going out and painting murals just to bring it down to someone's budget okay it's costly they can't afford it it's not your problem another response is no that's really great and i wish you all the best how to advertise them i believe this i have already covered it is a part of marketing marketing is just advertising only where and how to start selling my artworks start from your home yes start from your home your family your friends next responses tara makola art and balloon decoration i don't even know what that means i'm so sorry and i'm not understanding what this response or question is about next response is how to sell my artworks so dear this is not a very straightforward question how to sell your artworks there are unlimited ways from uh, selling prints selling or originals freelancing projects and uh, launching merchandise and uh, taking uh, commissions uh, make personalized stuff so there are just so many ways of selling artwork and there are lots of different platforms of doing it so when you say how to sell my artworks i can guarantee that there are hundreds of ways of doing it successfully so this is just i don't know <laughs> a very vague question maybe if you would be precise i would be able to answer it i'm sorry next question is in finding what makes our art unique when seeing other artworks okay so this is not bad and it does take time for you to realize what type of artist you are what is your niche what is your comfort zone and what is your unique style so don't beat yourself about it just take it as it comes go with the flow observe other artists work try to recreate them recreate them i'm not saying copy them okay there is a difference recreate them see if you resonate with the process see if you can bring something unique out of it and when you are trying to recreate someone's work try to you know uh kick in your creativity and think how you can make it different make it unique or is there any element that you can add so this is a process actually how to find your own unique style and this is not wrong that you see others artists work and try to find it everybody does that even if you go to a fine art school or proper course you will see that you there are uh, lots of exercises where you have to observe the paintings hey picasso's painting these strokes these colors and these shades and stuff and uh, starry night paintings van gogh so you try to recreate so it's not bad take your time and it's just not bad next question is where to do promotion pricing and i believe i have answered these both dear when you say where to do promotion for promotion there are unlimited platforms social media platforms like facebook tiktok twitter instagram youtube these all are platforms there are lots of different websites uh, there are lots of different groups there are lots of different offline ways so where to do promotion is exactly like it will depend on what are you making whom are you trying to target where is your target audience imagine you are making something for elderly people if they are in 60s and 70s or something if your product resonates with them and if i tell you hey go and advertise on instagram or go advertise on you uh, tiktok it's not going to work right so there are lots of series of questions that you have to ask yourself about your products your audience when you guys ask where to do promotion where to do market where to get clients the question is you do not know your clients you do not know your product that is the problem you have not understood what you are making and who are you making it for
and that's why you are not able to sell it there are lots of other artists who are able to so of course there is an introspection missing at your end you have to ask yourself next question is pricing not everyone understands the hard work that goes behind making yes i agree to that not everyone understands the hard work that goes behind making it and for that you have to share behind the scenes stories and reels and posts to give them a sneak peek and if they say it's too pricey you can just share hey this is the amount of efforts so it's completely reasonable okay and again what i always say it's not your problem kuch to log kahenge logon ka kaam hai kehna so no matter how good you do how less you price people will always find it's too pricey and they will not understand art is something people want it for free hey you are an artist it's your hobby make one for free so if they have problem with the prices it's not your problem okay just focus on doing good just focus on improving just focus on your craft that problem is not yours next question is how to sell our artwork on social platform now which social media platform are you trying to ask first of all there are lots of different social media platforms the way of selling on instagram will be different from the way of selling on facebook it will be different from pinterest it will be different from tiktok it will be different from linkedin it will be different from youtube every social media platform is unique every social media platform has its own features so what platform are you talking about where are you trying to sell you have to think about which social media platform you are talking about research about the platform what works there you know every platform has got its own algorithm so i cannot say hey this is the way to promote on social media platform no because way of promotion on instagram will be different as on pinterest pinterest is more of a photo based same goes for we hearted then youtube facebook so every platform is very unique every platform has got its own target audience every platform has got its own unique features so you have to ask yourself which platform you are targeting and then go forward from there next response is no one buy at good price people want it for free yes i agree to that people want it for free you have to be very witty in your answer when you say or when you decline those requests see people want everything for free you go to buy uh, vegetables from a vendor and you say ki mirchi aur dhaniya free mein de do thoda sa dal do everybody wants for free you go in a parlor and get some services in play hey eyebrows bhi kar do so we all want free stuff nobody hates it you want promotional stuff you go to a mall and you love those free uh, try on sashes so it's not their problem it's a normal human tendency that we do like free stuff and especially for art because it is something more you know associated with hobby so it's your duty it's your ability to make them understand that it's not your hobby it's your profession you are a professional artist you are serious about it you are trying to sell it and then it will take time i completely agree it will take time for people to understand it always does but you have to be firm about it because see millions of artists have made their career there are lots of artists who are getting back to back clients who are getting lots of commissions who are selling their art so yes people want it for free but there are also people who are ready to pay for it you just have to find out how to find those people next question is i want to develop myself 
my art but no motivation and it disappoints so i believe you are going through an art block here that you are not finding any motivation and you just not finding anything new so take a break just do some relaxing i have a separate videos on how to overcome an art block you can definitely go through that uh you will find lots of different ways of overcoming this art block another thing is you want to develop myself my art but motivation okay so you have to question your motivation for me my motivation is getting an art studio getting a home for my parents so i have associated it with a goal which keeps me going on so you have to ask yourself why you want to be an artist and then you have to think about it every day and that goal will keep you going that goal will make sure that you do not lose your interest and you keep working towards it next question is how to price canvas paintings and charcoal portrait drawings so dear i have already discussed the pricing part and you have mentioned two different things now let's imagine canvas paintings and charcoal portraits both are done on different surfaces both require different types of supplies both have different types of details also when you say canvas painting there are paintings which you can easily complete in half an hour then there are also paintings which can take you a week or a month so i cannot give you hey this is the formula use it no for every artwork your price will different based on what supplies are you using how many uh, how many hours are you going to invest in making it what is the design complexity what are the techniques and stuff and there are lots of different questions and it is unique for an artist one thing that you have to understand here is for all the questions related to pricing one basic thing that you have to understand is let's imagine you made an a canvas painting the canvas was of 200 rupees and then colors were of 100 rupees and brushes were of 50 rupees i'm just giving you a random number so your total expense on the painting comes 350 rupees now do not think that if you have sold the painting in 400 or 500 you have made a profit because your expense was only 350 rupees no what about the number of hours you have invested in making it what about the transportation cost when you went to get those supplies so there are lots of different factors just because the selling price is slightly higher than your total expense or the cost price doesn't mean you have made a profit of course when we were kids in maths we have learnt profit is equal to selling price minus cost price but when it comes to art it's not that simple there are lots of different factors which have to be considered and this is a lesson actually in my course it's not about pricing it's about pricing to make a profit it's not just pricing it's pricing to make a profit so these are all different things and uh, i hope you guys have got some clarity and we will keep doing this again and again i will keep asking you these questions regularly in my channel we'll keep having this conversation a lot do let me know in the comments if this video was helpful and if you are interested in learning more and everything in detail i have an online course a very detailed extensive online course where you can learn about all these topics all these different strategies in detail do all the analysis and see what works for you you can also get one to one assistance from me so if you are interested in joining that you can let me know as well and till then i'll can only say all the best and i really wish you luck for your artistic journey it's always great to see young and budding artists grow and your achievement is sort of my achievement as well 
and i'll see you in the next video bye